Holden or something yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, but bad. if you can order them not today, get them, right? All right, so this is really exciting. This is an only show at this price. So at the end of this show, price is going up. You are seeing these for the very first time. The three-piece Nassau collection, reblooming day lilies. I know we do a lot of day lilies on QVC, but not like this. These are tropical. Devin, you said that these were the most exquisite day lilies they that are. you've actually ever yes. seen. Yes, if you're just looking at these pictures, the three varieties of day lilies that you're receiving in this collection are some of the most richly colored day lily flowers that I think, I, they look like some Van Gogh or Cezanne painted yeah. each and well, every me, one of them. Let me tell you how hard these are to find. The Albany and the Old Fort Bay yes. were named by Eric Walleen My here uncle. with yeah, exactly. So you're not gonna find these down no, at you know the big you box store. Not. It's a whole different type of day lily. Last year, Albany was just a number in a book. Exactly. And we have been working with our our uh, good friends out in Holland for a few years in order to get enough of these to bring them to you guys because these are some of the very best daylilies. And Sandra, you know, like I know, daylilies, they are like the heart and the yeah, soul, yeah. the backbone of the American garden. It is a plant that every garden in America needs to have because they bring effortless flowers that you plant it once, yeah. they come back year after year after year, handles the rain, the wind, the snow, the heat, the sun, the drought, no problem, and they still look exceptional. So this is going to be the only show at this price, and then when we say goodbye, this price is going up. So you want to get them now. That's if we have any left. Yeah. At $7 a piece, this is a really good value for these varieties. So we did the South Seas once before, but we've never done the Albany or the Old Fort Bay, all named after uh, the Bahamas. Yes. And of course, because these are the most tropical day lilies, you told me two are very fragrant, two of the Two three. of them are very fragrant. The Old Fort Bay, which is brand new, mm -hmm. as well as the South Seas, which is an all-time favorite here. Yes, you brought back yes. the all-time favorite and two brand new that yes. didn't even have names last year. No, exactly. So, you know, you won't find these anywhere else because we are the like the first people yeah. to have them in the world show me under what you're these gonna, names. Show me what yes. this is and why, you know, I think about what, like, the daylily bulbs that I see, like, you know, e like in the hard goods store. Yeah, a little shriveled stores. up, yeah. and they look like they're not going to do anything for you. That's right. Okay, tell me what ours, makes your bulbs so unique. Well, ours are plump and fresh. They're still in the ground as we're speaking, and we don't even bring them out of the ground until after you've placed your order. So, because okay, so they're all in the ground right now absolutely. waiting for you guys to dig them up and send them yes, to us. Yes, and you can see just... Uh, how beautiful they are with all these gorgeous roots Actually, and these stems that are already forming. Do you know, correct me if I'm wrong, because mm -hmm. I'm going to say something that I think you, I think your Uncle Eric actually told me years ago, that one of the differences, I hope I'm right, I'll be so embarrassed, one of the differences is that when you got, buy the bulbs like this in the store, they've been sitting in those boxes you don't for know quite a long. while, Imagine right? Imagine having a tomato that's been sitting on the shelves for months. So, but with you guys, you dig them up when it's time Exa to ship exactly. them. So you're getting something s fresher than you would ever be able to get sitting on the shelf of a store. And that's exactly why you're going to you're going to be growing these daylilies that are going to be producing yeah, like this hundreds like of flowers for you in your garden I mean, like, starting look, the very first year. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. All right, how do I plant these? They're such a cinch. That's why we all love the daylilies. You'll see daylilies growing on the sides of highways, you know, right. in the medians of roads. All you got to do, you got to get it in the ground. That's all you have to do. Um, every order that you make comes with full growing guides that I've written, mm -hmm. so I know they're full of all of the information that you could ever want. Are you writing all the growing guides now? I write them all, yeah. Wow. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how you guys divvy up the work. I didn't all know you were doing all that now. <laughs> it's very, it's you a know, very this fair is, trade. He is the fourth generation along with Steph and Derek. They've been doing this since, I guess, your great-grandparents started yes, Roberta's, absolutely. right? So, I mean, but the reason I bring that up is because when we talk about something like a daylily, it's those relationships that you guys have built up with generations, uh -huh. there is a family that's generations old doing this in Holland that you guys have known for generations. Exactly. That's and why you get the exclusive. We get the cream of the crop before anyone else and, you know, maybe no one else, even else in the entire world will be able to bring these daylilies because we honestly take them all. I always find that an interesting backstory. It's really cool. Like it's your really grandparents cool. knew their grandparents. Yeah. They're still giving you all the bulbs. I, I haven't mean... met their children yet, so... <laughs> I, I know your uncle's have, yeah. yeah. So but look at these colors. Beautiful. We just saw the South Seas. Now we're seeing the Old Fort Bay. It's a gorgeous, creamy, uh, kind of like a creamy yellowish white with a rich, rich burgundy eye zone. Mm -hmm. And then it has that awesome, uh, like, 
canary yellow throat that makes it so vibrant. Now there's Albany. So vibrant. I said, why is it called Albany when it's a supposed to be based like a Bahama flower, yes. but apparently there's a very fancy resort in the Bahamas called Albany that your uncle exactly. likes, and that's how you guys well, gave it the name. And right? that resort is like the top of the top, just like this flower. Perfect. Have you ever seen a daylily flower look like this? Actually, no. Daylilies, they are meant to be grown in mass. I recommend getting four or five of these collections. Actually, and people just... are. Do you know that? People are right well, now. Go ahead. So here's what I want you to know. This is the only show ever at this price. The price dropped right at the show's start when we said hello to you, and then the price will go back up when we say goodbye to you. So if you want them, please yes. don't wait. It's a really special offer. And when we talk about it being special, not just because of the price, at five easy payments of $4.22 with free shipping and handling, I might add, and they're shipped to you at exactly the right time, and they're shipped fresh, but you're and, holding well, a yes. typical day so lily. all of the day lilies in this collection are all re-blooming, which means they're gonna bloom for months and months. Now, if you go to your garden centers and ask for a re-blooming day lily, they might point you in the direction of this little yellow guy that we've all seen and you know probably have in our yard, and they're fine, but these are expensive, and they do not have any near the flower power of any one you know, of our And Derek, I think this is really, dailies. really important. Because, Devin. Oh my gosh, I called Devin. you your brother. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm so kidding. sorry, I'm sorry. I do that with my own kids too. I'm always no, calling know, them the wrong name. You can call me Stephanie, okay. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> sorry about that, Devin. Um, what I was gonna say though is, I actually, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was so embarrassed I oh, called you by the wrong you, name. Were, okay, God, save this. me here. I forget <laughs> what I was gonna say to you. Oh wait, I know, I know. <laughs> When you talk about when you talk about daylilies, a lot of people are sitting at home thinking like, oh, I have daylilies, I have daylilies. Yeah. But really, you don't have this, daylilies like not this. Not like this. These are all multicolored. You don't have daylilies like this. <laughs> Thanks, Sandra. <laughs> multicolored, six to seven inch wide flowers, and two of the varieties in this collection are even fragrant. So these are, you know, daylilies that you stop and sniff. <laughs> Yeah. Have you, you just, ever heard of a daily that you sniffed before? No. Yeah, and take a look at this. So we just brought gorgeous uh, combination. Court just brought out, and this is the, this is the real flowers right here that I'm touching. Court just brought out our zinnia collection, which is how we started the show. If you weren't with us then, you can get the zinnias home as well. They're new today. It's the largest zinnia we've ever presented on QVC. So you get this, you get the day lily. It is a riot of beautiful Perfect color. Perfect for your hot, sunny gardens. These are both exceptionally drought tolerant plants. What we love about the day lilies is they can handle any conditions. Mm -hmm. That's why they are the heart and the soul mm -hmm. of the American oh, garden. There's my jean jacket on your screen. If anyone wants it. Okay, but once we get these day lilies home, I love the idea that just like standard day lilies, they're going to keep growing, right? Yes. They'll have more next year and more the year after. By the third year, you will have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of flowers from one collection. So imagine if you got five or six of these collections, planted them in a gorgeous row. And that's Plant actually them. what you're suggesting, right? Yes. You know, at our townhouse here in Pennsylvania, we at the very back of the garden, um, we, you know, we can sit in our living room and look out the windows and we see a beautiful border of day lilies just like that. We planted it around 12 daylilies and they're blooming from the beginning of summer all the way until around October, bringing you some of the most beautiful, largest, multicolored, even fragrant flowers. Well, you know, even if you only get one set, you are getting a set at the lowest price that we're doing them. Only show at this price. Price will go up at the end of the show. So for $7 a piece, that is a really, really great price for these varieties. Okay, I wanna show you something so exciting. Coming up, in about 20 minutes, you don't have to live in the Mediterranean.